Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Dory Ojage, and my one word is do. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about shifting your mentality for success. Now, I'm looking down at my notes, so again, I have to keep things in check now. <laughs> I'm just going until I talk. All right, so in today's video, we're talking about the mindset of scarcity and abundance in relationship to management. Now, it's a very normal and common thing that in Cameroon there's a lot of management going. People are just so used to management that it's a it's a way of life. It's a way of life to be to manage. It's a normal thing that you do. You know, you know manage. Ask how you must spend money so. Ask in reality how you waste money so. Manage no like the normal thing. You don't give for lose, you give for manage, you give for the manage, you give for no. But now there are normal thing now so. How is it affecting our life in the long run? How is it affecting our life in the long run? Now let's look at a story where you lived in a household where it's normal. It's normal. It's not even like where it's normal. It is normal. In Cameroon, no normal thing. So you give a money. Oh man, no. So you give a money. You must say money no day. Oh man, no thing no. It's in fact. Oh man, no say money no day. So no normal thing. So you would live in one house where you manage, you don't be used to this. I think yeah, live small me there. Me no day, oh, me no day, money no day. You tell say, I beg ya, no more than my gio, money no day, money no day. Who is used to hearing that story? Le money no day, no more than my gio, money no day. <laughs> Please, if you can relate, just leave a yes now in the comment section. Let's go on from there. Now, imagine that mentality that you have grown with. You're always like, money no day. Now you are you are young adult, you are living in your own house, you want to buy a new pair of shoes for yourself, you're like, money no day. You are mashing one ballet up and down. Money no day. You are young adult, you are trying to save money and you are saving without not like, money no day, money no day. Okay. Now you are in a relationship and you want to take care of your 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 your, your partner or pay some bills you're like money no day money no day and that cycle continues they are doing that to your children it's more buy the book money no day take him take the 100 money no day you can't take your pencil why the pencil why bring out the check out <laughs> i beg you now we don't know that you check your pencil <laughs> check your pen <laughs> right so it's normal it's normal in this country it's not it's not like it's not any big deal anything that's the whole how it is like i discovered something recently that i want to share with you people now what if you are making all this managing management from an abundance mindset rather than from the one that we normally do from the scarcity mindset because normally these are parents and the normal scenario that we have like even to yourself when you are telling yourself that ma buy this shoe where well, i would say no one no day you are man that management that you are doing is from a scarcity mindset that if you buy you know money will chop if you buy you know money will transfer will go work if you buy you know you know very day important maybe that save the money that is from a scarcity mindset that you will not have it in the future but what if you did this in a, from an abundance mindset what if you did this management from an abundance mindset what if our parents did this management from an abundance mindset and are there people who do this management from an abundance mindset now let me first of all define to you what the abundance mindset and a scarcity mindset in, in regards to this video, is a, 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 a scarcity mindset is that mindset where you think that this is all I will get. I will never get another pen again. This is the last pen I will ever get. So I am going to write one comma per day. Till it finish, then I'll dread the days. Till it finish, then I'll die. Right? That's, that's, that's just an example of the scarcity mindset. That's the kind of mind I'm thinking for the scarcity mindset. Now, an abundance mindset is that there are a lot of pens. There are a lot of pens. How can I use this pen that I have to have more of the pens? Hmm, great, nice, a lot of pens. How do I use it to get more? Right, that's, 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 that, that's an abundance mindset. Now, let's look at an example. There are two people, Teresa, John, and Mary. Nah. Nine percent I'm biased <laughs> because nobody will win. All right, let's see John and Paul. Now, John is somebody who manages from a scarcity mindset, and Paul manages from an abundance mindset. But when you look at an example of in terms of saving and investments, now 
John and Paul, they have 1,000 francs. John is managing his 1,000 francs from a scarcity mindset. Now, this is what happened. John is a worker. John works in a firm where he's a uh, cash clerk. So, John is a cash clerk and he works in that firm. Now, every lunch, they go out for lunch with their friends and everybody and they spend 500 francs every day for lunch. Now, John has realized that it is the 28th of the month and he does not have 500 francs for to eat on the 28th, to eat on the 29th, eat on the 30th before waiting for bail like around the food. You know how these things go and then you now realize that there's no pain on the food, they put dead there on the 7th. Now John is like confused, how do I eat? What do I do? John is not married. Mm -mm. John is not married. John is single. Now, what does John do? Now, John is like, where am I going? How can I problem like this? Why are you doing so for my life? How long I will live my life? John comes to work on the 28th and sits. John has 5,000 francs left, home and abroad. Now, John sits and John is like, where God? Why are you doing so? See my friend, another day, good job. Now, that one I don't buy, why do you put it? So, why am I nothing bad for people? God, why am I so cursed? Oh, Papa God, I'm gonna balloon this. Me and ever give money. Me and ever give money. Why me ever give money, Papa God? Why do you do this so? And John is like, where, Papa God? I will keep my five thousand. I will just keep him. I leave my thing in a transport or the car will see one end. This is no good job. No nothing. Oh God, I won't die. Oh. I won't die. Because all my owners are staff. Because I will fail the works of office. All my will don't know. I'm gonna balloon this. Now, that's John's mentality. Now, John is now ready, um, rationing that 5,000 francs with so much necessity that he's not going to get any and he's worried that they are not going to be paid on time this, this month. So, he takes his 5,000 his 5, francs and he's paying his transport to work and managing and buying small money 100 to eat. Now, John is like, my life is over. He has negative thoughts about his life. And about his wealth and abundance and things like that. It's just like it never happened for me. Now, John is thinking, he's managing that 5,000 francs by paying, only deciding to pay just transport and work some ways and then to buy cheaper food and less spending and everything. He's managing 5,000 francs. Good. Management is good. But if he's managing that money from a, 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 a scarcity mindset, like there's nothing that will come for him better, nothing can ever happen. He's only hoping that that month and month and salary that he's not even sure. Why? Right? And that is John's mindset. He's only tormented by the fact that he has just 5,000 francs. And 5,000 francs cannot even eat it. He's already sad by that one. He's not tormenting his future for the rest of the days till when they even pay him. He's already sad to you, the seven. That's he already decided he'll be sad to the seven. That's that 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 is that that is John. Now Paul. Paul is somebody who is upbeat, positive, and always looking at things in a positive light. Now, Paul is in the same situation. Now, he too has 5,000 francs. He's also a cash clerk. Now, this is the same situation like, like John. Now, it's the same thing. They might pay on the food. They might not pay on the food. So, now, he is saying that he cannot continue to do this and depending on one source of income. Now he's thinking that he has 5,000 francs, he's, he's really grateful for 5,000 francs that he had. And now he's thinking that what can he do to make sure that this, this does not happen to him again. Now Paul decides that he will take his 2,000 francs and put it in an investment that will give him 500 francs from next month, 17 of, from the 17th of next month. Now give 500 francs every day from the 17th of next month for two months, right? So John, so Paul does that, and he now has 3,000 francs left. In this 3,000 francs that is left now, he treks one way to work and pay one way back. He buys small small things for 100 and eats during lunch. But the general overall is that Paul is happier than John. You know why? Paul has created a future that is brighter than his present. He has thought about it that in from the 17th of next month, if he invests this 2,000 francs, he will be having 500 francs every day. 
Now, just the prospect of that money, that has not even happened. It's already making me happy. Now, doing the period where he has now tried to work halfway and pay halfway, he's doing it happily. During the period where he has to buy things for one day for one day, he's managing happily. I, I really hope you get the difference. Now, that is managing from an abundance mindset. From that to that state of mind, you are overall happy. Just the, the, you, you are happily managing. And that is a goal to be happy in life, seriously. Because there's no need where you have money that you are going to manage already. And then you, you are now sat in the future. Like Paul is already sat. Like, <laughs> till, till, till. In, Paul is future sad. I mean, John is future sad. Why Paul is future happy and presently happy? It's the same thing. It's the same thing like in a in a home where you are, we are family and we are children. And your mom says, "I beg you, put a half fish. They tell me put a half fish for your job." Or they tell you say, "Put in leaves on fish or two point tomorrow." Or they tell you kind thing like, "Are you managing happy or you are managing sad?" Because what you are doing today doesn't now affect your future. If you are sad today and you let everything crumble today. There's no way that you can arrange tomorrow. But Paul realized that I have 5,000 francs. And this 5,000 francs will be, is only here because I have just one sort of income. What if I have another sort of income and I don't have to spend my salary too much? Alright? Paul is thinking. Now what you should be doing? Doing something. You should be thinking about something that you can do to improve your life. Not just staying in a negative area, managing there, and then stay in a negative mindset of scarcity. Like guys, there's always enough money out there. There's always enough money. If you and I decide that uh, we want to be printing, we want to use by this leaf, eh, this flower as money, you and I will agree. It will become money. That's how money is. Because in reality, it does not even exist. You know, you know that piece of money that you have in your house that yes, people just agree that that should be money. And then it became money. So they, there's no limit to the amount of money that you can receive. It all depends on your mindset and how you live your life. So be like Paul, live from the positive mindset. Manage whatever you're managing now. If you don't buy that shoe now, so you know why you buy the shoe. No, but not buy the shoe now. No, 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 kill yourself now. So if you don't buy the shoe, like let there be a positive side to your management. Be managing with purpose, positive purpose. Don't hate your life today. And then you are already hated your life 20 years to come. Like you're already like you cannot make it. Nah, 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 nah. So just be that there are those two kinds of mentality. And learn to shift. Shift the mentality that will favor you. Shift the mentality that will favor your, your future self. And learn to just be an overall happy person. Learn to be an overall happy person. Okay? Right, so that is what I want to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And let us know how we can move on with life and, you know, be there for each other. All right, thank you. Subscribe, please. Bye-bye. It's a beautiful day. You're looking for something fun to do. Hey! Hey baby, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hi. Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. This is Doris Ojage, and my one word is do. Ah, give me a minute.